the Society for Pediatric Pain Medicine Visual Pearl Series. The Suprasagomatic Maxillary Nerve Block. In this nerve block, local anesthetic is placed in the pterygo palatine fossa. Ultrasound helps determine the depth of local anesthetic. The block needle is rarely seen in this autoplane ultrasound technique. The suprazygomatic approach is a safe technique. Insert block needle at the angle of the zygomatic bone. Walk off the sphenoid bone and advance the needle slightly anterior and caudal. The needle tip can be advanced to 4 to 5 centimeters. The pterygo palatine fossa is a nerve dense area. What nerves travel in this area? The target is the maxillary nerve and the pterygo palatine ganglion. Branches of the maxillary nerve are zygomatic, posterior and mid superior alveolar, anterior superior alveolar, and the orbital branches. The pterygo palatine nerve and ganglion is a relay station for sympathetic and parasympathetic connections. Branches include the grayer and lesser palatine nerves and the nasopalatine branches. This block is used for the repair of cleft lip and palate and can be incorporated in ARES protocols. The goal is to decrease postoperative pain. Consider its use for migraines. Use a nerve block or injection needle. Use either bupivacaine or ropivacaine. On ultrasound, vascular structures can be seen in the mid fossa area. Confirm local anesthetic location by hydrodissection and tissue displacement upwards. Injection points can be deep or shallow. Complications include transient nerve injury, swelling and bruising, facial artery spasm, and intravascular injection and toxicity. The suprazygomatic maxillary nerve block is underutilized in head and neck surgery. Additional studies are needed for its application.